So you have a Revit Material Library optimized for Enscape, and now you're ready to take your renderings to the next level and use Lumion. How do those materials compare between Enscape and Lumion? Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Now in part one, we've looked at how to optimize your Revit library so the materials are showing correctly in Enscape. Now let's look at how the same materials would show in Lumion. And also I'm going to show you how to uh, use a Lumion template. Let me show you. There are a few things to keep in mind when uh, exporting a Revit model to Lumion. This is RPC Entourage and uh, it won't show properly in Lumion the same way it does in Enscape. So we want to go ahead and hide it and uh, you can just hide in the view by category. And then the second thing to be aware of is the location of the project base point or survey point. I typically like to export by project base point because that's the point that's usually on the site versus the survey point that could be very far away. In this case, the geolocation of the project wasn't a concern, so the two points coincide. But just be aware that when you pick one, you should always stick to the same point uh, in the various iterations that you have. Every time you export, it should always be the same or you'll run into issues in Lumion. And uh, now we're ready to export. Now I already have the insertion point set up to be the base point and I'm going to keep it that way. And everything else looks correct. So I'm going to export it. Now in Lumion, I open my Lumion template. I'm going to go ahead and import the museum. DAE file, the one we just exported. Okay, here's the model. The reason why we verify the location of the project point is that I'm going to go ahead and place it here temporarily. But you see that now the project base point is going to be my handle, my insertion point that I can control the coordinates of. So if I come right here and type zero in the X and in the Z, my project base point is going to be placed right at the Lumion origin. So now I have control over this building. And another thing to keep in mind is that if you have set up your layers, always make sure that when you bring in a new object is placed under the correct layer. Now, if you see, most of the materials are placed correctly. It's reading the materials that have been set in Revit and exported in the texture folder. This is the folder that is being created once you export the DAE file. So these are the textures that we actually used in the Revit file and they were exported. I was saying that all the textures were applied except for the glass. So we can go ahead and apply the glass so we can see the inside, just apply a generic glass for now. And another thing I would do is probably control the elevation of the building just so it's all above the ground. Now let's take a look at the views that we have set up. I set up a few views in my template. The asphalt is being applied. All the site elements are being applied. Let's take a look at the interiors or the metal roof. If you take a look at the interiors, everything is applied correctly. The same way we have it in Enscape. So that means that you can set up most of your materials in Revit, especially if you have it in your Revit template so that when you start a new project, you always have those materials that are being used in 80% of your projects. You can still create new materials in Revit. That's usually the best way to do it because then you'll have the same look in all the different applications. 
And then, of course, when you're ready to finalize and really go to the presentation phase, you want to take the Lumion model to the next level of realism. Then you can look at uh, replacing some of the materials to make them more realistic in Lumion. Now, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And also, let me know if you'd like me to show you how to create your own Lumion template. Now, don't forget to ring the bell because I want to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.